think we got it working. Okay, let's try and adjust that slightly. That's a bit more. Okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> if you caught my glimpse earlier, I started and stopped because I got interrupted by a phone call, which I now disable that so I can do this again. So let me start from the beginning. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. I am a best-selling author and speaker and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's topic, I should say today's edition, is number 329. And the topic today is What Don't You Want? A Key to Help Singles Attract Amazing Relationship. Well, I actually added the word amazing, but you get what I mean. So... I'm going to repeat what I said earlier because I deleted that one so you won't even see it. It may appear this is a figment of my imagination, but I did do an earlier broadcast, but I deleted it so you never did see it. So forget that. Let's start here. (laughs) This talk was inspired by a conversation with a prospective client. I had a discovery session right before I did this broadcast, the last one. And this topic came up, so I'm talking about it here. Most people talk about you need to know what you want. What, do you, what is it, your, your goals, your intentions to have an amazing relationship, you've got to focus on that. And I do too. However, there's a big piece of the puzzle that I tend to include that a lot of people don't. And that's why I'm bringing it to the table now. Which is what don't you want? And I'm using it this way because I've shared this more than one occasion before in previous broadcasts. And I'll say it this way. In your subconscious mind, there is a little program running which is your childhood mindset running, that chooses relationships based upon what it was used to having when you were a child. That's why it's childhood running the program. So as an adult human, your romance choice is being driven by a five-year-old, which sounds very unappealing, doesn't it? Not exactly. But what I mean literally is that the wiring that you have as an adult was put in place a lot younger age because of the way your brain functions, like everybody's brain does. And so your relationship choices that you may say, I want this, 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 and this, are actually being driven by what you didn't like when you were that young. So, I'm trying to think about do No, can't do that way. Okay, so let's, start, let's rewind and stay another way. So, your opportunity to have an amazing relationship <clears throat> is generally predicated on a couple of things. One is yes, what is it you do want? The goals, the visions, the intentions, we want to have in a relationship, which is wonderful. However, what's also happening is those things you don't want on the other side are also infe- aff- infecting affecting the choice you make in an adult relationship. But most people say, just focus on what you do want, you'll be fine. And the truth is, that's not even half true, because your power of intention, what you really want, is less than, less than half by a lot of what's really going on, because your subconscious, the things you don't want, are actually running at probably 99, 95% of your intention energy right there. So no matter how powerful your intention is to have what you want, until you get this piece in alignment with where you're going, there'll be this discord going on with two different directions. So I'm going to bring it to the point of view about what you don't want, because this makes more sense. In the first module of my program, Attract the Man You Want, I have you, if you're using my program, start creating a list from the beginning of whatever it is in the past relationships or your past family dynamics that didn't work for you. Things that you didn't want, didn't like, didn't, didn't want to hear, said, had happened, experienced, etc., etc., and you can make this list as long as it can be, and you keep writing out those things. And you want to get clear about what didn't work. These are things you don't want. Because there's a reason for this. Not to make yourself feel sick and tired and upset and worried about what didn't work, but actually to flip the coin or flip the, flip the dice. Because what happens is, once you've exhausted that list the best you can, now bear in mind, you've done this on half a page sheet of paper, like on one side of the paper, you move across the other side of the page and you start writing down the positive reference or the positive um, reframe of that. So for example, if for example, and, and let's say your past lover um, cheated on you, and that really pissed you off. And it was actually caused the, break, caused the issue for the breaking relationship. So you write it down, cheated on me, on the, on the, on the um, don't want side. On the want side, the positive side, the inspirational side, you put is loyal, is monogamous, loves to be with me, whatever that is. And if you say, for example, one is that they, um, they're always distracted, they were always, always at work, they never spent time with you, and it sucked, it really wasn't fun to be around the person. You put that in the list of the negatives, what doesn't work, and then on the positive side, you put down, always makes time for me. Has balance within love, life, and business. We have a great time. It's a wonderful experience, or whatever the words are for you. And you sit doing that. So the list of all the ones that are negative you've written down, all the way down that list, you create positive references for all the way down as well. 
By doing that, you have a new beginning of where you want to go. So to recap quickly, what you've done is you said, what is it you don't want? And then you start getting a list of what you do want, which adds to your fuel of the intention you want to create. And also, when you start doing things like vision boards and other intentions, which is what I help you with in my program, you actually get clarity and intention and magnetic attraction for what you really want. Now, a quick thing I'll add to the, the conversation. The list of things that you don't want that I said on the left-hand side of the page, that if you're using left and right, based on how you're doing this, 90% of that stuff came from your childhood. And as I said, that energy, the subconscious, has been running the show for 95% of the energy in your intention is taken away from that with your, negative, with your subconscious programming. And that's where it came from. And that subconscious programming is what's influencing your dating choices. Isn't that fun? So whatever happened, and I said this before, as a child in your relationship with your parents, or how they relate to each other and how they related to you, I'll say that one again, how they related to each other and how they related to you, will largely influence the choice you make in adult relationships. Isn't that fun? So one of the ways you start to change that is to get clear about what it is that didn't work. What it is that happened that didn't work? Now, this is a starting point. I'm not, this is not going to give you everything, but it's a good place to start to really start building out your vision and retention of what you want to have in a relationship. And it's a piece that most people miss, pretty simply. I'm already trying to push my, sorry, I'm watching, I'm watching my mind say, tell them about my program, tell them about my coaching, tell them about, it's like, no. I'm attempting to shut that part up for a moment because this is a gift, this is my service to you. But I will offer one thing, which is this. If you find yourself stuck in the area of love and relationships, I do offer in every one of my recent broadcasts at least, an invitation to join me in a little conversation. You can have a private, um, complimentary conversation about clarity or something like that. <laughs> it's supposed to be clear, and I don't call it clarity. Okay. Complimentary Clarity Conversation, that's what it's called. If you go to my website, which is at barrysilvey.com, and you click on the Let's Chat Navigation Choice in the menu bar, you can apply there for a 30-minute conversation with me as a gift for me to you, free to you. We can help you get clarity in what you want. That's a starting point. Um, I do have an online program, which I don't, I won't talk about here, but if you want to find out more about that, you can message me. Um, but this is a point I want to make sure you get clear about. It's important for you to know what you don't want as much as it is about what you do want. If you have both those areas understood, it becomes much easier for you to generate the relationship, attract the relationship, have the relationship you really want. And I tell you from experience, it does make a difference. And I think that's about it. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can find all of these recorded. This is number 329. So this one plus 328 more are on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, as well as on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And I'm not going to tell you the page it's on on my website because it's gotten too big now. And so if you've got on that page, you can go if you want to get, go, go on the page, but there's 320 something broadcasts on there. It's a very heavily loaded page. It may take forever to load, just to be honest. Um, that's the video blog page if you want to go check it out. But again, go to barryselby.com, check out my website, look at the conversation you're going to get, the, the uh, complimentary conversation. Just click on Let's Chat. There's my coaching there, my programs, and everything else too. I hope this made sense to you. If you have any questions about this broadcast, please put them below. Any comments and thoughts you want to share? And if there's anybody you want to share this with, please share it with them as well. Um, your homework is to do something about this. Start making a list of what doesn't work for you. Get clear what's in the way so you can start changing to what you do want and have what you really want in love and life. That is your homework. I hope this makes sense. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching, and if I'll see you again tomorrow, I hope you get some value from this. As always, these broadcasts are for you. Um, yes, they market my services, but they also inspire you with how you can have more love and life, more love and joy in your relationships. That's why this is one of the keys to attract the love you want. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow with number 330 and something new and different, I'm sure. Take care of yourselves. Bye.